scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let the destinies that have been tied down, the families that have been tied down, as you shout Jesus at the count of three, let there be deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, fire upon altars and chakato shekete bata, e preke teke teka, rekes kabariata. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. I command yokes of darkness be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. Please bring them out. We are praying. I'm seeing, I'm seeing fire coming on ladies. Because a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit. I use you as a point of contact. Every daughter of Zion here that has been oppressed by spirits in dreams at the count of three shout Jesus one two three that fire upon your destiny that fire shake it take 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 it Brendes Kabaria Shada, ancestral altars, yokes of darkness, edge long spirits, lift up your heads, all ye gates, be lifted up, ancient doors. families. Father, I pray that any family here that has been eaten over by the siege of delay, I declare right now in the name of Jesus, as you shout again, the healer, that shout of praise, in the name of Jesus, may that fire rest upon you. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cost delay. I cause delay. I, I cause delay. The spirits of delay leave these families in the name of Jesus.
God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing people's feet bound with chain. I'm seeing the number 11. 11 people in this place. It's like there is a chain holding your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where they are, but I declare by the spirit of grace, some of you are up the balcony. Father, these 11 people, right now, Father, these 11 people, right now, Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Hallelujah. Now everyone say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come by the blood and I declare that on account of the sacrifice of Jesus, Every legal access that the devil has over my life, my family, my destiny, my finances, let the blood speak. Lift your hands and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak against ordinances. Let the blood speak. Legal access. Shabarata pa, abrakata baka to shadakate, nanta baka to shosoko to bate. What a life are you praying? Online are you praying? Shebere garebos, rakata baka to baka to shadakata baka to shadakato, embrakata to to kata shadakate. on your head. Say in the name of Jesus, my head, you are the symbol of my glory. Everything that has brought you down, release me now. I rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, Every prison door and every prison gate stopping my advancement, stopping my influence, I declare, be broken, lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. 
of Jesus. Are you tired? Say in the name of Jesus. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare. My portion in this land. In this nation. Within my territory. Come to me. Lift your voice and pray. My portion. God is a God of portions. My portion. Through wisdom come to me. Through value come to me. Through relationships come to me. Through favor come to me. Through innovation come to me. tell you fire is burning in this place listen to me the bible says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren then the bible tells us the beginning of the story that the mother cursed him because she brought him in sorrow but Jabez came to a point where he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray say father this of my life I am grateful for it but shift me to a higher level shift me in ministry shift me financially shift me spiritually lift your voice and pray higher level higher dimension higher dimension grateful for this level but take me higher Grateful for this level, but lift me higher for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your majesty. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The last prayer, and then we'll deal with the request here. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, I have power by the Spirit. I have power and it is by the Spirit. Psalm 66 verse 3 says, Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. Not through the greatness of your speaking. Is someone ready to pray? One last prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing, the unction, the grace to rise from this pit and to remain in victory. Let it come upon me from heaven. Lift your voice and pray. The unction for the next level. The grace from the Spirit. Hallelujah. I want to truly honor your pastor and your father for allowing this. I have a covenant with God of answered prayers. Hallelujah. Yes, I do. I do. Listen to me. Let me pray for those in front here. All of you that have come to the front, every spirit that holds your life you know my voice i send it as an instruction in the realm of the spirit at the count of three let them go now one two three out of them now go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies everything you have stolen in the name of jesus be gone forever 
in the name of Jesus, we cause you altars of darkness be gone forever in the name of Jesus. We see the rain of your love, we feel the wind of your spirit. Now, the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain let it rain will you open hallelujah the bible says on to you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Please listen. I'm standing in faith and I'm standing in partnership with the grace upon your father. If you are yet to drop yours, please just bring it here. This is a representation of your pain. This is a representation of your sleepless night. This is a representation of that which you do not want to see Exodus 14 14 please give it to us the Lord himself the Bible says shall fight for you and all that will remain with you is your peace nothing missing nothing broken please stretch your hands towards me i like you to agree with me and pray in the spirit pray in the spirit everywhere as i lay my hands upon these requests upon your request prophetically the same way I'm standing upon it everything that is on you as a Lord I bring it under your feet now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God in the name of Jesus the son of the living God it says behold I give you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy believers hear me these Egyptians that you have dropped today in the name of Jesus you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever Listen, Job said he will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scorching tongues of men. Any pronouncement over anyone's destiny, whether it was warranted or unwarranted, my Bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I declare by the blood, be free from every cause free from every pronouncement in the name of Jesus in Genesis 32 the Bible says when Jacob was alone a man came to him and he wrestled and he said lead me for the day break it he said I will not let you go unless you bless me and he said what is your name he said Jacob he said thou shall no longer be called Jacob but Israel 
for as a prince you have had power with God and prevailed and he touched the whole of his thigh and blessed him and then my bible says the son arose and they called the name of that place Peniel the face of God whatever has made night time in your life and has stopped life from rising in the name of Jesus I declare let your night be done in today now hear me Whatever has refused to work in your life, it's a master we have toiled all night. Please believe these are not just mere words. They are words with a throne that backs them. Master, we have toiled all night. It's a nevertheless at your word. What you did and failed, January, February, March, where you failed, we empower you. Go back and excel. Go back help them please my God go back and excel hear me Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1 in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord whatever needs to die for you to see I declare right now may the earth open and swallow it And David said, is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Hallelujah. Yes. And they sent him to Lodabar. And he went and brought a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Ziba had 15 sons. And yet none of the sons was favored. And he brought Mephibosheth and said, you will eat with me here. And the sons of Ziba were the ones who would tore his land. I pray for you. Every destiny helper allocated by grace to you. In this season, from the north to the south, the east and the west, by the power of prophecy, I call them into your life. Financial helpers, ministerial helpers, destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Anyone called barren in this place, whether for you or for your loved ones, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, like Eli, I stand in priesthood with your pastor and we declare according to the time of life, return with your miracle testimony. Anyone trusting God for a job in this city or around this nation, I don't care how long you have waited, I stretch my around this nation. I don't care how long you have waited, I stretch my hands to you and I declare by the spirit of grace, three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom we speak to you the words of grace in the name of Jesus the allocation that is your portion let it come to you Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and Jesus grew and Jesus increased whatever has refused to grow in your life Everything that is alive grows. So your influence should grow. Your knowledge should grow. Your prayer life should grow. Your relationship should grow. Everything stagnating your growth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse it out of your life now. Hallelujah. family here that has the testimony of Ichabod that you were once in glory you once tasted honor Mariko Sazia has kabaranda shalakata grataska bedekato shalenda brakatoska ega kepakato shalakata now 
Let it come upon those hands that are stretched towards you. Nothing dies in that hand. Can I pray for your spiritual life? I don't know what has happened to your fire. Shamaka so secretary balakata. Prayer fire. What? Study fire. I pray for you right now. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. of you before you get home you will find the things that you are your expectations here waiting for you and I say by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen I fear God and I love God with all my heart but I know by the spirit that this session will not profit you until you are challenged to drop a seed that represents a sacrifice. Listen, I'm a man of integrity and I fear God. Your pastor is a man of integrity. It is difficult to teach these things to the saints because it has been abused. But I stand by the spirit as I'm standing here. I know by the spirit of God that if we just round up this session and you go, my conscience will not allow me because I understand spiritual things. When the angel came to Cornelius, he said, your prayer and your arms, not your prayer alone, your prayer and your arms. Listen to me. Please listen, listen, listen. I will never by the grace of God and as he supplies grace, manipulate anybody under the sun in the guise of ministry towards giving and I will never tell you to do something that I will not do myself as I'm speaking to you now I'm going to reach down to my own pocket to and give now I don't know whether it's a special giving whether it's with the offering combined whatever it is but I want you to agree with God and say father I want to use this seed to seal this deliverance I know that some of you may have suffered abuses from respectfully men of God and from ministries and because they've twisted some of these things every time we talk about sowing you think it is some gimmicks by the grace of God God has shown us mercy and he has shown of grace so every 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 declaration that you should give is not for personal profiting no it is to the end that this becomes a seal are we together I don't know whether it is a check you're going to write. I don't know whether it is a seed you're going to give. But I want you to stand wherever you are. And agree with God on a seed that you are going to bring a, a sacrifice. I want to pray. Don't just come and drop it. It's not about money. It's about the word that is on it. You drop seed, you just did donation and went back. What gives life to it is the anointing that rests upon it. If it's the church account that you need... I'm, I don't know if I'm okay. I'm seeing an account. Those following online from whatever nation, you can call the finance lines or call those available. And I want you to believe. Some of you are trusting God for increase sorts in your life. I still have one more session tomorrow by the grace of God. And as we celebrate the Lord, I'm going to show you one more mystery. If God grants you the grace and it is within your power, make every sacrifice to be here. I respect men of God and I respect ministries. But please hear me. If it's a sacrifice that is within your power, please be here tomorrow morning. You notice we've not done any impartation or speaking on you. There is something that is left to balance this conference tomorrow. But for now, Please hold on. Hold on. If you are giving, just, just hold on. I'm not just talking of, of a seed that you come and drop. The Bible says, and Solomon loved the Lord, and that he offered a thousand bond offerings. And that night, God did not send an angel. He came to him himself and said, Solomon. He said, 
what would you have me give you? And Solomon prayed for an understanding heart. He said, because you have not asked for the life of your enemies, you have not asked for this and that, I will give you this that you have asked for. And what you have not given, riches, wealth, and honor, such as no man has had, I will give to you. And he woke up and his life changed. I want to pray for you. Most times we give as if we're helping the man of God. Most times we give from a ritualistic standpoint. And that's why there is no life. It's not in the money. It's in the understanding. Are we together? Now, I want you to agree with God. Whatever it is, maybe as a couple you can agree, as a family. But I want you, don't just drop money. Let it be a seal to say, Lord, my fathers could not do this. My mothers could not do this. But here at this conference, in this atmosphere of deliverance, I'm lifting this seed and that as I drop it in the name of Jesus let this terminate hardship let it seal that open door and keep it open and let this be for transgenerational continuity of your kindness and faithfulness that the covenant that God had with David that makes for his peace and his mercy let it also come upon my life lift your hands or lift your seed whatever you have lift it up and let's pray Father, you are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man. You do not deceive men. You are a God of integrity. And Lord, I stand in faith and in partnership with Reverend Godwin Abba, his great wife, the leadership of this commission, this ministry. I stand in the presence of your people and Lord, we declare that it is time for us to end certain seasons and to birth others. Some of you have emptied your accounts to do this. Some of you are standing in rugged faith, believing the God that can do the impossible. I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as one who God has shown mercy and grace and I speak over your seeds. I give it a voice in the realm of the spirit. According to Psalm 50 verse 5, it said, Gather unto me my saints, they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And I declare, may your sacrifice turn into an altar in the spirit. An altar that remains as a memorial for you. That you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. For Trusting God for open doors. We turn this seed into a key in the realm of the spirit. Let it open strange doors for you. For those that are trusting God for restoration. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let your seed become a magnet. That draws back to your life everything that once left you. In the name of Jesus. For those that are trusting God for visitation in your family, let this seed become a weapon of victory that will fight battles even when you sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless your seed and I speak that it is blessed. Let it go into your future and wait for you. I speak to this seed. Go around the city of Abuja. Gather your kind. Return back to the givers a thousandfold. Go around this nation. Gather your kind. Return back to the givers in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you and the earth will fear him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Please cast your seed with understanding. How do we do it now? Do you come out? Okay. Please come out quickly. Just come and drop your seed quickly and turn back with understanding. Let's hurry up so we can wrap up the meeting. Let the ushers direct you so that we don't stampede on each other. Ushers, just get that done quickly. Okay, so please. Get that done quickly. Just do it carefully. You. Do it carefully. Just go ahead. There are bags in front and there are buckets at the angles. The Lord bless you. It doesn't have to be the one in front. Anyone you can Anyone. see. Exactly. Yes. I'm sure there are ushers on the gallery. Okay, fine. So the whole minute for you coming down. There are ushers on the gallery. Your seat is already blessed. And let nobody leave until we've shared the grace. Shaliba.
Marus Kadia Balakata, Marus. Don't keep quiet as you go back. Let your word speak something over your destiny. We just have a few more minutes. Make sure as you drop your seat, don't just go back silent. The Bible says, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Open your mouth and declare. I just dropped my last level financially. I'm rising to a new level. A new level of anointing, a new level of grace, a new level of favor, a new dimension of the hand of God. Can we finish up on time please those coming just just come quickly come quickly come quickly so that may i kindly ask pastor what what time tomorrow's service eight o'clock okay it's a combined i'm told it's a combined service it's a combined service so i'm sure that that would just be one service please invite everyone and come as we we receive the final dose of that which God has in store for us by the Spirit and we trust God that there be a manifestation. The angel said, Blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken of the Lord. We believe and we expect a performance in the name of Jesus Christ. Please rise up on your feet for the final blessing before I hand the mic over to the apostle over this house please help me with the request you can pick them and just go and bond them it is done in the name of Jesus Christ it is done in the name of Jesus Christ please do well do well to share your testimonies I believe that even tomorrow there will be a room some of you already receiving testimonies and um, I'm sure that by the grace of God there will be um, provision according to the way things are done here please take advantage of it and let us know so that you can also seal that which God had started doing 10 lepers were healed only one came back to testify and express gratitude and he was the only one who was made whole in the name of Jesus you return with the favor of God in the name of Jesus the Christ of God and I pray for you that every seed you have dropped here let it speak for you it will never be that you came and wasted your time in the presence of God your deliverance remains permanent and every door that has refused to open all of them one by one beginning from this morning or this afternoon we declare them all opened in the name of Jesus Christ give Jesus a big hand clap and celebrate him Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and let up the phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.